A great way of displaying your videos on your website is by using the Video Playlist widget. This widget is part of the premium version of the A-Teams add-ons for Elementor plugin. We're going to activate the widget. First we have to search for it here. Click this button to toggle it. It is now active. We're going to an Elementor page and we simply search for it. So, Video Playlist. You can see it comes with some default content and we're going to have a quick look at the options. First of all, we have the name here. You can change the name to whatever you need. You can see next to the name, it's going to automatically display the number of videos. So you can see we have three videos here. Okay. You can add as many videos as you want. You can rearrange them by drag and drop, or you can even delete them. Let's go inside one of the videos. You can see our options are separated into tabs. So first of all, we have the content tab, video type, YouTube, Vimeo or self-hosted. You place your URL here for the video. You select an image. Here's our image here. The title. And of course the duration, you can change it. And it shows up here. Let's move on to the settings tab. So you have all the video options you might need here, like loop, player controls, privacy mode, and so on. Okay. Now let's move out over here to the settings section. You can change the height like this. You can change the width of the navigation, the position, left or right. And you can even change the icon for the play button. Okay, you can choose to always display the icon or show it only on hover. Let's uh, click this so we can actually see the videos changing. Okay, now moving on, we have the style tab here. We have a bunch of uh, styling options for the wrapper. And even more options for the navigation area, so you can change general settings like padding and stuff, or the radius, background. And so on. Playlist title, both the color and the typography. The total number here can be also styled. The images. The image height. So you can make this look exactly as you want to. Let's make it like a square like this, for example. All right. The item title, typography, the duration, and of course the colors for all states. So for normal, hover, and active. Let's go to active, for example. Let's quickly change the background color like this. Item title color and the duration. Okay, and that's it. As you can see, you have full control over the content and plenty of styling options to achieve the design you want. That's it. Thank you for watching.